Hey uh, everybody, uh, this lesson is Volume of Pyramids. So this is a pretty fast lesson, you guys. It's real sim similar to the last one, you guys, except that you, we insert uh, the one-third. So so how do we find the volume of a pyramid? Okay, so a pyramid is a pol has a polygonal base, so it could be a rectangle, could be a square, could be a triangle, could be a trapezoid. Uh, and all the lateral faces are triangles that have the same vertex, okay? Here is a typical pyramid right here, rectangular pyramid, uh, where the rectangle is the base right there, okay, and uh, I'm sorry, the, the square is the base right there, okay, and the square is a rectangle, that's why it's called a rectangular pyramid, okay. Okay, rectangular, regular, regular means um, uh, it has to be all sides are equal, so it has to be a square. Here's a regular hexagonal pyramid, okay. So uh, the base is a hexagon right here, okay? So notice how they all go into a point right here. You guys are, are familiar with the pyramids in, in Egypt and all over the world, uh, down in Mexico and other places. Anyways, so here's a triangular pyramid. There's infinitely many more, you guys. So the volume of a pyramid is one-third base times height, okay? Where H is the altitude and B is the area of the base. So let's find the volume of this guy right here. Okay, so the base, it looks like the base is a square, 24 times 24. So one-third base times height. So let's get the base, 24 squared is 576, okay? Now remember, area is uh, always square units. Volume is always cubic units. So the volume of a pyramid is one-third. Let's do that, one-third base times height. So we plug that in and we get 192 times um, 16 is 3,000. 72 centimeters cubed, okay? All right, let's do this one. Okay, see that rectangular base? So the base is um, uh, uh, 2.5 times 1.5 because it's a rectangle. So 3.75 centimeters squared. So one-third base times height, okay? So we plug that in and there's our groovy answer right there, 1.875 centimeters cubed, okay? Let's find the volume of the composite figure formed by the pyramid that's removed from the prism, okay? So do you see this pyramid in here? We're going to take that out and find the volume. So it's going to be the, uh, the prism minus that pyramid right there. All right, the prism is length times width times height. And then the pyramid is one-third base times height, okay? So here we go. So length times width times height, and then one-third, the area of the base is 12 times 25, and that altitude is 15. It's this altitude right there, 15, 15, okay? So when we crank that out, we get uh, 3,000 feet cubed, okay? How about this one? Find the volume of uh, the composite figure and round to the nearest tenth, okay? So here we have two congruent Regular, regular means that uh, it's a square because there's four sides, all sides are equal. Okay, and so the sides are six and the, each height is, is eight. So there's two pyramids right there. So here's one of them. Volume for one of them is one-third base times height and the base is uh, six by six, okay, times eight. Okay, so we get 96 inches cubed. So that's one of them. So two of them is going to be adding that together right there. Okay, so here we have a regular um, uh, prism. So here's my regular prism downstairs with two congruent pyramids. So the prism is uh, this times this times this, and we'll find one of these and then double it, and then we'll add it all together. Okay, so the the uh, the rectangular um, I'm sorry, the rectangular prism. It should say prism right here. Dang, I thought I'd get through P. Okay, so the rectangular prism is a um, uh, hundred feet cubed. Let me uh, pardon me while I keep fixing this. I haven't taught this lesson yet. It's in July still, so I'm just uploading it right now. Anyways, and then each pyramid has a square base of five, so the base is uh, 25 right there. Okay, so um, uh, so 25 times 3 and then a third of that, and then so that's going to get us here. Let me, sorry guys. And then uh, so the volume of each uh, pyramid is that, so we're going to add the 100 plus 25 plus 25, and that's going to get us 150 right there. All right, you guys, if you are in my class, um, you're going to be assigned to that for your homework. Take care.